I want to show a couple examples of using calculus in Mathematica and the examples I have here are the first one being find equations of the tangent lines to the curve y equals x minus 1 over x plus 1 that run parallel to the line x minus 2y equals equals or equals 2. Okay so the first thing I need to do is let's get this y curve I'm going to define it as a function of x so to do that I always put an underscore under what my input is and so that tells Mathematica from now on anytime it sees an x um, that's the input. Okay so there's my function. Secondly I need to figure out what the slope of this line is because if this tangent line runs parallel to this line then they need to have the same slope. So I can use the solve function that helps solve algebraic equations in Mathematica and I'm solving x minus 2y to denote an equation, I say equals equals 2. So here's my equation, and I want to solve it for y. So y is the variable that I'm solving for. And so there it is. The um, If we want to think of this in terms of y equals mx plus b, we have y equals 1 half times x minus 2. Um, so then my slope would be the coefficient of x, so the slope is 1 half. Now in terms of the, uh, in terms of the tangent line, find slope of the tangent line, uh, I looked at the derivative. So this time I want to solve the derivative, which is y prime of x. And Mathematica does pick up on the prime notation to mean derivative. I'm going to set that equal to 1 half. And I want to solve this for x. And this will tell me where this, the tangent lines have slope 1 half. Okay, here are my two points, negative 3 and 1. Those are the two places where this function has tangent lines with slope 1 half. Okay, now to actually find those equations, I'm going to make a uh, another function I call tan1. And tan1 is going to look like, well, how do you find a tangent line? You have a slope of y, so I'm have, or y prime, so I'm going to have y prime of negative 3, x minus a negative 3, or x plus 3, plus whatever the y coordinate is at negative 3. Okay, so there's my tan 1. If I do tan 2, let's do tan 2 for the second place. It's going to be y prime uh, equals, this time I want my x coordinate to be 1 that I'm plugging in. So I have x minus 1 plus y1. And there are my two functions. So here I can say tan 1x, there it is, and tan 2x. And there it is. Those are the equations of my tangent line. Now to visualize this further, I'm going to plot, I'm going to use the plot function and plot all three of um, the functions y of x, tan 1 of x, and tan 2 of x. Okay, and I need to specify a range for my x values. I want to include negative 3 and 1, so let's go from, how about negative 4 to 2. Okay. Now remember, um, when you're plotting multiple functions, you need to put them in a list. So that's why I use these squiggly bracket brackets around y, tangent 1, and tangent 2. All right, so the blue curve here is y of x. You have an asymptote right here at negative 1. But you see at the point negative 3, I have a tangent line that runs parallel to 1 half, and, or with a slope of 1 half, I should say. And at 1, I have another one. And then you can see those are parallel. And if I want to include, let's include the line that they're trying to run parallel to. Well, we know that's going to be 1 half uh, negative 2 plus x. Right, we solved that earlier. So if I throw that one in there too, the red line then is the line that they gave me originally. And you can see that those three lines run parallel to each other. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now let's look at another example. Uh, the second one says, show that the curve y equals 6x cubed plus 5x minus 3 has no tangent line with slope 4. Okay, so this time I have, I'm going to write f of x because I don't really like doubling up my variables in the same notebook. So I'm going to have f of x is 6x cubed plus 5x minus 3. Okay, so there's my function. Now what I need to do is figure out when this derivative, when the derivative of this function equals 4. So I'm going to solve f prime of x 
equals equals 4, and I want to solve that for x. Okay, and the solutions I get here are both complex numbers. So that tells me then, in, in, in terms of the real plane, I have no tangent line with slope 4. Alright, so we can plot this if you want. Let's plot f prime of x to see what's going on. And let's go from negative 3 to 3. Okay, let's actually zoom in a little bit, negative 1 to 1. Because we can see that the derivative of this is a parabola. And the lowest point it reaches is 5. So remember, the derivative gives you the slopes of the tangent lines at any given moment. And at no point here can I reach 4, because the, the lowest I can get to is 5. So that's another confirmation that you can't have a tangent line with slope 4. Okay, I hope these examples make sense. Mathematica can be a very useful tool, as you can see, in, solve, in messing with derivatives and tangent lines and solving equations and a variety of other things. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be glad to help. And thanks for watching.